What is up guys? It is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and firstly I want to say a massive thank you to all of you. We have hit 4,000 subscribers. Ah! It is huge. We are now on the road to 5k which is very exciting. So this video today guys, I promised it for you and uh, here we are doing it. I'm doing it a lot sooner than I initially expected. The 4k sub special and updated Joe Talks Wrestling Room Tour. Now, guys, I did a room tour a number of years ago, and it doesn't even have that many views. I don't even think a lot of you know it exists, and my room has changed so much since then. So without further ado, let's get right into the full, in-depth room tour. Okay, I find it only appropriate to start here, outside my bedroom door. Nothing special, just a door. However, we've got my uh, Fallout 4 Volt Tech poster, the Perk poster. We've got, you know, a Joe sign, some stickers, Deadpool poster, and that's the outside of my door. Now, are you guys ready to see the full Joe Talks Wrestling Room for the first time in a long time? I think so. Without further ado, let's go. Opening up the door, this is what you see this is the joe talks wrestling bedroom this is where all the magic happens uh, so without further ado i think let's uh, turn around and i'll show you the other side of my door i think that's probably the easiest thing to do first um over here liberty city map from gta4 los santos map from gta5 and then another liberty city poster there up top we got a bully scholarship edition poster i'm a massive gamer um you know i i'm not well not too much these days but I used to be obsessed. I've still got loads of consoles and everything down there that we will get to, but I'm not really into, you know, video games as much as I was. But this wall, this is the camera side wall. I'm not going to spend too long here because you guys see it in every single video. My Thunderdome plaques, obviously Smackdown 1, Smackdown 2. We got my Joe Talks Wrestling thumbnail plaque that I got for Christmas. Uh, Hell in a Cell Thunderdome, another Joe Talks Wrestling thumbnail uh, plaque. Raw Thunderdome, Raw Thunderdome, and then my YouTube awards. 100 subscribers, 500 subscribers, 1,000 subscribers, and soon we will have a 5,000 one right here. Uh, obviously, I made them myself. You can check out that video. Uh, I will leave a little card somewhere in this video. My cards have been uh, working a bit weirdly recently, so I'm trying to fix them, but I'll try and leave a card up top so you can check that video out if you'd like. Over here, we got my 2K20. Um, yes, I actually bought the, uh, the the special edition of 2K20. What a waste of 140 quid that was. Um, Smackdown authentic piece of ring skirt here on a little plaque. 2K19 Ric Flair's robe and a 2K20 assigned plaque of Kurt Angle. I'm not going to spend much time up here. It's just filled with jewellery, junk and other things. We got a picture of me and my granddad, a picture of my old dog Herbie. Uh, I'm sure most of you guys will remember him if you've been here for a while. Um, this wall over here, we've got my old posters that used to sit on this wall. So once I uh, updated this wall, and this wall is not finished, guys. I want to get rid of all of the posters and replace them all with framed things. I want to have a big framed thing there and two other framed things there. This is going to be a fully framed wall at some point in the near future. I don't know when. But anyway, Hulk versus Hulkbuster poster. That's from Avengers Age of Ultron. I love that. Uh, a I Heart Springfield. Love that poster as well. Back to the Future, one of my favourite films of all time. I had to have a poster of that. And then my favourite TV show of all time, The Walking Dead. Of course, I got a poster of that too. Um, that is just a GameCube poster that I got in the case of, I believe, Pikmin when I was younger. Um, we've got WrestleMania Revenge Tour when I went to the WrestleMania 27 Revenge Tour uh, back in 2011. This is a WrestleMania 26 Revenge Tour poster. They didn't have any WrestleMania 27 posters, so we bought the one from the year before, but I've had this since literally for 10 years now. And uh, yeah, I, I just really like it, so it stayed in my room. It's obviously wrestling related, so I thought, why on earth would I get rid of it? Uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 map, and then this wall, guys. This is the first time you will see this wall on a video. This is my fan art wall. Any photos, drawings, artwork, memes, uh, comments, anything that you guys send my way that I really appreciate, I will put up on this wall. Everything on this wall is from you guys, except this. This was drawn to me by Baby Tilly. I believe this was drawn as a bit of an apology for throwing water over me. So that just sits there. But I've credited everyone. Uh, so all of these bits of paper that have things on it, I've credited everyone on them. So, for example, Joe McManus made this cool El Jantonio artwork. You can see his Instagram up there. Uh, AXB Monster, he did that. 
um, Little Spike did the drawings. We've got, you know, Russell Gaming ENT with my favourite comment of all time. Um, Aiden Wrestling with this awesome Joe Anthony artwork, England's best. Love that. You know, there, there's so much on here that is just awesome and I love it all. But by far, my favourite has to be the drawings. I absolutely love these. Uh, you know, I get drawings more than anything. They're the things I've got the most. And what it, what it is, I don't have a PO box. So when you guys do me drawings, you have to send me photos of them, or if you can, scan them and email me to them. You know, Little Spike Brandon has done me so many, which are awesome. But this is one of my favourite ones. Uh, not done by Brandon. This is done by Alf Owen. Uh, I believe it's Alfie Owen. I'm not too sure. Uh, he sent me this on Instagram. Hopefully foreshadowing and predicting the future. We got the JTW triple threat, Joe Anthony versus Kit Clips versus Zach Rowe for the JTW Intercontinental Championship. I hope we can do that soon, but neither of them have accepted my challenge yet. Uh, we got Jack Sykes, Joe Freakin' Anthony, JD Bailey and Bad B, Zach Rowe, uh, El Jantonio, obviously another El Jantonio bit of art there by Joe McManus, and then Zach's little brother's actually done me two pieces. Uh, but when Zach and I were obviously still, you know, best friends before, you know, I, I'm going to say before he betrayed me, but realistically before I snapped. Uh, we got this really cool drawing that he did me. And then up here, we got this cool uh, JTW artwork that he's done me as well. So that is the fan art wall. Um, it's only right that we move downwards now into the actual, uh, you know, where all the magic happens. This is where I film all my videos. So you guys see me. Uh, I literally just set my uh, my phone up here and then film, you know, facing this wall. That's what you see. This is what I see when I'm filming. So we've got my fridge. We've just got some general, you know, office utensils. Uh, my wallet, you know, just there. Uh, hand sanitizer, because obviously, you know, these last two years have taught us that we need them. Um, or this last year, I should say, sorry. I hope it's not two years soon. Um, some glue, you know, just general stuff. We've got my key there, um, you know, a power bank. My Logitech speakers and AOC monitor, I've had all this for so long now, guys. Like, it, I, I don't know any of the specifications on any of it. Uh, down here, we've got my, you know, I don't know what you'd call it. It's like sort of my idea book. In here, I've got, well, yeah, a couple of drawings at the back there you probably just saw. Uh, that's my attempt at Goofy. <laughs> uh, in here, we've just got loads of YouTube ideas uh, that I've done over the past. So that's where if I think of a cool or YouTube idea, I jot it down in there. We've got my Xbox 360 here, um, some side plates, some the current games that I'm playing. Current PS4 games I play are 2K20, Days Gone, UFC 4 and GTA 5. They're the ones I play the most. Um, we've got my 3DS, a Rey Mysterio figure, uh, my kickboxing. I'm a blue belt in kickboxing at the moment, so I haven't been able to train for months, which is annoying. I would have hoped to have been on green by now. Uh, anyway, my student of the month from a 2012 uh, karate trophy, which is funny. I've still got that. Uh, I got all the way out to brown belt in karate and then... Uh, I didn't like it anymore, so I just I just stopped. Uh, over here, we've just got a load of general stuff. Here's my case for my Nintendo Switch. We've got just paper, uh, two Xbox 360 controllers, my old college passes, some change, and, you know, just, just stuff like that. Uh, moving down yet again, we have got my computer. This is, you know, without this, none of the Joe Sorts Wrestling YouTube videos would be a thing. I don't know the specifications on it. I believe it's an Iron Wing Nebula from Fierce PC. I got it in 2015, and, uh, you know, it, it's still... It still runs okay. It takes a while to boot up, but you know, uh, you know, fingers crossed, guys. Uh, it, it, it's all good. Uh, down here, we got some more games. Uh, all my PS4 games uh, sit here. They're the ones that I don't really play anymore. Uh, any recommendations on there that I could give you? I need to beat Kingdom Hearts uh, because I really want to get onto Kingdom Hearts 3. Uh, so I've got to do that. But. Mainly PS4 games, a couple of GameCube, a couple of PS2, a couple of Xbox 360. They all just sit this side. Down here, we've just got some old shoe boxes. There's just general tat in them that I'm not going to show you. However, what I will show you is uh, in this one, it's really dusty, but I've got all of my old controllers that I don't use uh, to stop them from getting dusty and, you know, all horrible. I put them in plastic bags with their names on, as well as their plugs, because behind my TV, uh, where there is a lot of games and stuff on this cabinet, games consoles, there could be a lot of wires. And so the ones I don't play, I've put the wires away, put the plugs away. Uh, so there is a minimal uh, wires behind my TV just to try and keep it as tidy as possible. But don't get me wrong, it still looks bad. That cable management still sucks, but it's a, it could be a lot worse. Uh, down here, we've got my PlayStation 2. 
my GameCube, Nintendo GameCube, my original Xbox. I've got a Nintendo Entertainment System, a Nintendo 64, there's Super Mario 64 in there, a PS1, and then a PS1 Classic Edition that I got. Uh, that is awesome. Over here, we've got my TV. You guys can probably see me. Hello. Uh, this is where I play any of my, you know, older consoles. Uh, if they're too old and they don't like going widescreen, I play them right here on this old CRT TV. Um, but mainly this TV is for my Nintendo Switch. Any reaction videos you see from like me on my desk, I'm watching this TV, uh, watching WWE on my Switch. So if I haven't watched the show live, I react to it using my Switch on this TV. So that's why you see me at this angle. Anyway, over here, moving on, we got my selection of hats. Nothing really serious there. Master Sword. Uh, you know, my old TV, a shoe rack is, you know, I need to fix this because that leg is going to go soon, I can just tell. Um, but yeah, let's move on to my cabinet. Now, guys, it's already 10 minutes, this video, uh, but there isn't too much to cover that side of my room. So, you know, this, this is the main part. Up here, we have got basically any games, any retro games or anything. This is mainly my Nintendo shelf. I love Nintendo. I've got loads of Nintendo games. I've got this cool Captain America shield. I've got a Duff from The Simpsons. My 3DS and DS games are all here. Um, N64 games, I've only got a couple. Um, I've got one NES cartridge that sits in there. My Nintendo Switch games. I haven't opened Super Mario 3D All-Stars. I know it's on a limited run, so I'm thinking of selling it, you know. Uh, we'll get some money from that new and sealed later on down the road. Uh, just some old GameCube games that I grew up with. Uh, I loved Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets growing up. That was a banging game on uh, GameCube. Uh, down one shelf, we've got the commemorative Undertaker urn, my Joe Talks Wrestling light box, I've got a Hall of Fame ring, some more games right here. Now, if I move the light box across, you can see this is all of my wrestling games, uh, mainly up here, all the way from 2K14, all the way down to WWE Raw on the Xbox. I've got SmackDown, here comes the pain. I've got all the PS2 games here. Uh, you know, I've got some, you know, TNA Legends, Legends of Wrestling, stuff like that there. But, you know, that's covered up by, obviously, the Joe's Wrestling Light Box. Um, moving down yet again, we have got my Harry Potter shelf. If I've just got to move this steel chair out of the way. Now, guys, a lot of you who don't know me, it's not obvious because I don't really talk about it in the videos, but I am a massive massive Harry Potter fan. I've got all of my stuff here from the Wizarding World. Oh no, from the making of Harry Potter uh, Warner Brothers Studios tour in London. I went recently with my girlfriend in September and another friend of mine. All of my books. Now all of these are first edition hardbacks of the Harry Potter books and they're all in pretty good condition. Uh, now what first edition means guys, you're probably thinking, wow, they must be really expensive. Uh, they're not. The first edition books aren't really expensive. Uh, they're quite, they're, uh, you know, Philosopher's Stone, that cost me about £35. It's the first prints. Now, you can have first editions and first prints. Everyone just hears the word first edition and thinks, oh, it's one of the first ones that was ever made. No, that's not true. But yeah, all first edition hardbacks. I'm currently rereading all of them, and uh, I'm halfway through Goblet of Fire right now. We've got the DVDs. We've got my Chocolate Frog box. That I'm not going to get in depth on here, but we've got my wand that I got chose for at the Wizard world in Universal Studios. Um, you can, there's actually a sorting ceremony. There's a choosing ceremony for ones. There's loads of things they do there to try and keep the immersion alive. I actually got chosen uh, on the wand. So I've got my own wand, which is really cool. Uh, Harry's wand sits in that box and then Dumbledore's elder wand sits in here. Uh, I'm not going to go too in depth, but you know, if I can lift the box, there you go. That's that's the elder one for anyone who's interested. Uh, but yeah, that's my Harry Potter shelf. I absolutely love Harry Potter. Moving down yet again, we've got basically just a, a wrestling bookshelf. I'm a big reader. Uh, that's another thing people don't know. It's a, it's a New Year's resolution of mine as well. New Year's resolution for 2021 was I have to read for at least an hour a day because I do really enjoy reading. Um, so we've got a 50 years of WWE, the first 25 years of Raw, Shawn Michaels' two books here, Rey Mysterio, Chris Jericho's third book, Yes by Daniel Bryan, loved that one. Um, my form tutor at school, uh, absolute great guy he is, uh, still follows the YouTube channel, massive wrestling fan himself. He got me this and he got me this. Uh, I've got Adam Copeland on Edge, the Bret Hart book in hardback and the Bret Hart book in paperback. I've got a Bootios box, 
um, the Elite Figures box that I've got. I don't have any of the figures anymore, but I've still got the uh, the box. Um, 007 Daniel Craig's Bond films, really like them. Moving down to the final shelf, we've just got lots of DVDs. I've got the vast majority of the MCU films right there, uh, all the way up to Doctor Strange and then Avengers Endgame. In between there, in between them films, they're the ones I'm missing. So like Black Panther, Thor Ragnarok, you know, the films like that. Um, Spider-Man films, Deadpool, the Kingsman films, phenomenal. Jackass, you know, Hangover, The World's End. Oh, the Cornetto trilogy, absolutely fantastic. I'm a bit of a film nerd, not as much as I used to be, but I definitely do love a good film. So any recommendations, guys, just have a look on that shelf and I'm sure you'll find something you like. Maybe not the younger audiences. There is a lot of films there that are 15 and 18. So, you know, I, I, yeah, I retract that statement. <laughs> Over here, we got my custom money in the bank briefcase, the Seth Rollins big fig, my fiend mask. You see all of this in the video. Uh, my WWE big gold replica belt. Uh, on this wall, there's my wardrobe. Now, I'm not going to show you the top of the wardrobe because there's just a load of old tat up there, exactly the same as in the shoe boxes down there and on top. So it's just, it's dusty and it's just tat. It's not worth you seeing. Uh, same as I'm not going to show you in my wardrobe. There's so much things in room tours that you don't need to go in depth with. Uh, anyway, my wardrobe, we've got my uh, my blue belt and kickboxing stuff, uh, my grading requirements over there. We've got the Fiend replica, Fiend replica, uh, the Fiend calendar right now. It's not a Fiend calendar, it's a WWE calendar, but the Fiend's on it right now. Uh, just some stickers. I got this number plate when I was in Florida. Uh, the blue Universal Championship strap over here. That is pretty much half of my room. My uh, We got an extension years ago. And my room was from this wall to this wall beforehand. So this, what you see there, that was my old bedroom. All of this is new. Because I need the space, realistically. I could not have slept in a bed that was there and my feet would have touched wall to wall. Uh, anyway, you're probably looking at this and thinking, well, what's this then? This is a belt wall hanger. This is where the JTW Intercontinental Championship should be. But it's currently with Kip Clips. Uh, so I will win that back, I'm sure. And it will go back on the wall. Over here, we got my IKEA Detolf belt cabinet. You can see me again. Hello. Um, on top, we've just got some stuff. I've got a, a Yoshi egg light or a Yoshi egg light, depending where you're from. Uh, that's really cool. My Amazon Echo. Alexa, hello. Hello. There you go. Uh, my PlayStation 4. This is one of the first models, so it's really old now. And it sounds like it's going to take off every time I play it. Uh, just some stuff, you know, aftershave, stuff like that. I've got resistance band, hair bands. WWE Championship Network logo 2014 replica belt. WWE Spinner Championship. I flipped the M on it. Uh, no, I flipped the W to an M because obviously Miz is champion right now and that's how he had it when he had the spinner. Uh, just a little tribute to the Miz right there. My uh, JTW World Heavyweight Championship Fandu Big Gold and then the ECW 2008 Big Silver. Over here where my, uh, my PS4 and everything are plugged in, we've got all of my side plates. I won't show you them all in depth. However, I've got Daniel Bryan, Brock Lesnar, Dean Ambrose, and Seth Rollins side plates. Uh, they're the ones that are there. And that's the belt cabinet. I hope in the future, as I can get more belts, I'll have another cabinet right next to it. Uh, and I can fill that one up as well. Because I've got belts that aren't on display. I've got like my Daniel Bryan eco-friendly championship. I've got nowhere to put it, so it's not out. Uh, oh, on the wall... Oh, up on the wall, we've got my um, my TV. Now, I actually do have LEDs on the back of these and the back of my desk, which I didn't show you. So I'm going to turn them on real quick, uh, just so you can see. I always have my LEDs on. It looks great when there's no lights on, just like that. Um, and I've got some on my TV as well. I believe they're the Govi Home LED lights. If I just quickly switch on, you can see. Um, and all they do is, you know, I can control them by my app. They sit on by themselves. My TV ones will turn off in a second. There you go. Um, but on this wall, you know, El Jantonio Malasorto's JTW Tag Team Championships. This hangs right above my bed. My bed itself is just a normal double bed. Uh, I've got a Snorlax pillow because Snorlax is my favorite Pokemon. We've got a Simpsons donut pillow, which I got from Universal Orlando. Up here, we've just got my Gryffindor flag because I am a Gryffindor. Once again, love Harry Potter. Uh, I've done the sorting ceremony about five times now in my life and every single time it's come back Gryffindor. So that is my house. Uh, if you guys are Harry Potter fans and you've been sorted into a house, let me know what house you are in. I do not judge. Uh, yeah, anyway, once again, TV up there, the LEDs on the back, they're really messy. Um, but this is what you see from my bedroom 
if you stand right at like my window and you turn around, this is what you see. So this is a view of my bedroom you guys have never had before, which I think is quite cool. Over here, my bed, obviously. Uh, we've got my wireless charger, my PS4 controllers, my fan, an old phone. This is the third camera angle for JTW when we film that phone. It's, you know, it's not good, but it just sits there. My AirPods, I've got a lamp. Over here is just old stuff. I've got my 3DS case. I've got a um, just my backpacks and stuff. Uh, a few drawers there. That's just where I keep, you know, pants, socks, stuff like that. You don't need to know about that. Um, I've got my PS4 headset down there, my kit boxing bag right there, and then the JTW gear box. This is where I keep all of my gear other than my tights and stuff. You know, they hang in my wardrobe, but kick pads, knee pads, gloves, elbow pads, anything along those lines just sits in that box. Uh, we've got my actual window right here. If you look out, you can see that's the backyard that you all know and love, which is, you know, awesome to see. It's a really nice day today, actually. But yeah, there you go, guys. That's pretty much everything. Editing Joe here, and uh, there is two things that I have completely forgotten to show you guys, which I have no idea how I've managed that. So, without further ado, let's move back to this side of my bedroom, guys. Uh, I literally must have just completely skimmed over them whilst I was filming. Um, and they're quite important, both of them. So quickly, let's flip the camera. I'll show you. Try and make it very quick because this video is already 20 minutes long. So up here, guys, we have the first thing that I was talking about. Obviously, this is a Deku shield or a Deku shield from uh, The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Uh, I actually really was into Zelda in like 2018. I had all of the games, Breath of the Wild, you know, uh, Ocarina of Time. I haven't played Majora's Mask yet, but I'm still a big Zelda fan. Uh, so I decided to give it an attempt to make a Deku shield, which I thought came out quite nicely, actually. And then obviously next to that, we have uh, my, probably one of my most prized possessions, actually. The 2019 YouTube Promo Championship. Obviously my name there, the 2019 on the side plates. This is what really started to kick my channel off, uh, amongst other things. But thanks to the Kip Clips Promo Competition, you guys really found out who I was. And that's all from me. Let's get back to the other Joe thing. You know, I've covered the vast majority. I don't know if there's much else that I can actually show you. I've done it all. So that is the Joe Talks Wrestling Room Tour. I hope you have enjoyed. Let me quickly put you guys back. Once again, you now know that you are laying against my monitor. And this is what you see, the usual setup. There you go. That was the room tour. It's 20 minutes long. Uh, you know, I, I tried to not talk about things too much. So if I was going in depth, in depth, in depth, then we would be here for about 45 minutes. So I'm glad I didn't do that. But I hope that I've done a justifiable job of giving you guys an updated room tour. I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. Once again, thank you so much for 4,000 subscribers. We are on the road to 5 K and maybe you don't know I might even do a giveaway for 5k so get me there as soon as we get there good things will happen I promise <laughs> anyways like comment and subscribe I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling you guys have been awesome and I'll see you in the next video goodbye